awarded by the judges oh, okay. who judge the art award. Okay. Um, the Kathy Donnelly Award. So Kathy Donnelly was an individual who um, originally founded this gallery. So many years ago, she's since passed. But many years ago, when this transition from a courthouse to a gallery, she was one of those driving artists who created that change. Oh. Um, but she was a practicing artist herself. So this is almost like an honorary award. Oh. Um, it's been continued throughout the years. Um, and then the patron award, we are supported by our town of Port Hedland, so by local government. Okay. And BHP as well. Um, we do get, we get um, sponsorship funding by BHP. Um, but this tender is managed through the town of Port Hedland, so us being here and having this space. Um, and this award is awarded by the town of Port Hedland for um, a local artist to help them support their practice. So this is almost like a, a fund, a grant. They have to use the money from that prize to develop themselves. Oh, okay. Um, it was very unusual that each of these was a joint winner. Cool. Um, the judges decided to, to do that for oh. many reasons. You can read a statement on our website about that, but um, it's quite controversial. Okay, so this one is not a modern one they are using right now. This art, is it a modern one that is competing right now? This art. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can still vote for any of these oh, okay. winners. Okay. Yeah, sorry, okay. my bad. Okay. Um, yeah, so even if you have won, in this category, they mm. can still win in the jury prize category. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So, so I, when I saw this art, what, the first thing that came to my mind is empathy, care, love. That that was what I. Yeah. That was made, what made me to pick this one. We have the artwork. They are amazing. They are beautiful. This one. They are all beautiful. They are unique uh, in their own way. Yeah, so this is really interesting because this is a local indigenous artist and she paints from Spinifex Hill in South Headland. And um, she has a really interesting take. Wedgefield is our industrial area in town. Okay. So she often takes photos of certain places in town and then she kind of composes that them is all together. That is really interesting. It's beautiful. Yeah, and so this actually exists. This wheelbarrow exists oh. in Wedgefield. Really? Yeah, yeah. So if you go um, for a drive to Wedgwood, it's like a suburb. It's In South Headlands? It's just before South Headland. It's okay. kind of on the right. Okay. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's just an industrial area. Okay. It's not fun, so, but it's back, unique. Back to my question, Liza. <laughs> and I know you answered it beautifully well. Having gone around the exhibits and mm -hmm. looked, there are some that look very lovely to me. And there are a few others that I said... I won't want that in my space. So I'm asking, what do you consider is art? So I think the simplified version of my answer to that is whatever the individual who wants to engage with that artwork wants it to be. Okay. Whether they want it to be a decorative piece or whether they want it to have some sort of deeper meaning is purely up to the individual who wants to engage with that artwork. Okay. And you mentioned that art is a means of communication. Is that true? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So if that's in my personal opinion. Um, I do believe that artists have a way of um, experiencing the world and then synthesizing that experience and using materials and processes to then create objects or stuff, things at the other end. It doesn't have to be an object, it can be any kind of digital me uh, media as well to help us um, understand the world, our experience, okay. the you, things, all the things, all the big philosophical things. Earlier you also mentioned that at being communication has two, two sides to it. The person giving out the information and the person receiving it. Mm -hmm. And it's up to the person receiving it based on his life experiences Correct. to interpret it the way it's been done. Could you please expand a little on that? Well, I mean, I guess all art is always subjective. There's no such fact. Okay. Um, so the individual, myself, yourself, will always come to an artwork with a background of experience and knowledge and, mm -hmm. you know, things that we've been exposed to that will make us interpret a work in a different way. And I mean, that was an interesting one that you brought up because 
all those things are completely true. Empathy, um, what, sorry, what was uh, Empathy, care, care, and care and love. Yeah, yeah. so Laurie Penzini, who painted this artwork, has a lot of other things that are current in her work. Like, um, she's a rural woman, she talks about the strength of, um, but also the um, softness of women who grow up and live on the land and tend to the land. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of extra things going on in there, but your reading of that is also so true. So, sorry about that. Sorry. Um, but yeah. Thank you so you much. You are Elijah. very welcome. Okay. Thank you for being very interested. Okay. Mm -hmm.